Okay, we are back with uh, video tutorial 5 of uh, the pair PHP uh, video tutorials. Uh, it's brought to you by uh, Imagination Everywhere and RIA Institute. Um, in this tutorial, we're going to focus on um, installing packages for pair. But before we do that, let's go back to the previous uh, tutorial about the uh, problems that I thought we saw. Um, as far as these deprecations, um, this is dealing with magic quotes, and magic quotes won't be uh, be used in PHP 5.30 and in uh, 6.0, which is coming out later. Um, so we don't have to worry about this. So this is not affecting our installation. Um, it's not. It's not going to affect what we do with Pear. So I just wanted to let you know that. Um, I also. Uh, if you remember in the uh, video tutorial 3 showed you how to uh, get the pair commands all you have to do is uh, go to the want folder I mean and with the PHP 5.30 uh, 3.0 5.3.0 and put in pair and it'll give you all the pair commands and I went and updated uh, the channels to make sure that all the channels were up to date and upgraded there's no upgrades yet so we can go ahead and start to install some PHP uh, packages and again uh, packages are like controls and classes uh, for PHP that extends the the language and you know allows you to do um, allows you to do more dynamic things uh, with your web pages and your uh, web applications so uh, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll install uh, starting with the structures uh, data grid so we'll, let's go to packages and uh, on the pair website and let's go down to um, structures and we have the data grid here so uh, you know the data grid basically um, summary is it renders a data table with automatic paging and sorting which is just like a godsend you know if those of you who've ever had experience with dot net know how powerful the data grid is so um, in order to use the grid, data grid here the installation instructions of course we have to install the, the data grid by typing pair some of you may have to type the dollar sign and then uh, structure data grid and um, here's some other information on about advanced installation but if we go back and we actually go to download what you can do is you can copy this called pair install structures data data under uh, structures underscore data grid dash 0 0.9.0 0. and what you want to make sure um, you go ahead and copy that what you want to make sure before you copy it is, is that that you have all the dependencies that the structures the data uh, grid needs and when you see this word optional that means that you don't have to necessarily have those packages already installed but we must have the pair PHP um, version 4.3 or newer and we have to have the pair package installer 1.6 or, or newer and we have that and everything else is just optional so let's go ahead again we've copied this go to the command line and if we go ahead and uh, click paste and voila we have our structures data grid installed on our system if we go to the pair folder and we go to structure we see the data grid and then we have the column we have the data source uh, PHP file and we have the render PHP file so if we want to use the data grid we have to if we go back to um, the documentation of data grid and to the installation uh, parts uh, we have to install it, some data drivers and some um, data render renderers. I mean, some renderer drivers, data source drivers and uh, rendering drivers, uh, so that uh, so that we can render the output. So, if we go back to the beginning of structures, we'll see that here are all the data source drivers for the data grid and right here her all the renderers for the data grid now you do the same thing you go ahead you 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 
say for instance if we take the array check down here to see what the dependencies are it needs a uh, structures data grid and we already have the other two so uh, what we do is pair install copy paste and then we have the array now this could take you know some time to do so what I've done is I've gone ahead and um, ha made a notepad file and I'm gonna go ahead and install all the data drivers and all the data renderers and all the de dependency packages that uh, that are needed so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, copy this all the way down copy space paste and allow the command line to accept accept everything then hit return or enter okay it didn't uh, install everything I uh, didn't install all the uh, data source drivers so if we go to the and I can tell just by because I'm used to looking at this if we go to the data sources this is it only installed uh, uh, six of them or actually seven I um, may installed installed the Excel um, uh, data renderer uh, X XLS so what we need to go back and do is go to our notepad and if we go back here it did everything up to here so we got to do the MB2 the PDO RSS and all of the renderers so if we go here and I kinda see why it didn't uh, install right so um, we're gonna go ahead and come down here and copy and paste everything and go pair install I'm going to show you why I didn't install everything um, because we already or we should have had the MBD2 uh, let's go ahead and press enter If we go back to our structures file, data grid, it's installed all of the data sources and only two of the renderers. But as you can see, um, that's how you do it. And I'll just go back and just once you once you, you can get it right, you know, just copy and paste, and you'll get it right. And so in the next video, what we'll focus on is um, building actual web pages with these packages so we'll see you in the next video